So depending on what caliper you remove, it's gonna depend on your bleeding procedure. Since I removed all four calipers, I actually had to start bleeding from the wheel that is farthest from the master cylinder. The master cylinder in my vehicle is on the driver's side on the front. So I actually started bleeding my car from the rear passenger wheel. If you only remove one caliper, then you can just go ahead and bleed that caliper by itself and your system should be okay. But since I, um, like, like I said, since I remove all of them, I had to do that. So I have done that and let me show you how I bleed it in the, in the caliper that I remove. But this procedure should be the same in all wheels. So the first step to start bleeding, obviously putting some brake fluid into your brake reservoir. My car takes dot four. This, depending on your car, it might take different kinds. So always check the manual, the owner's manual to see what your car takes. So don't be afraid to fill it since uh, if you only did one caliper, then obviously don't fill it. But since I did the whole entire system, I'm gonna be filling it pretty much full because I know it's gonna it's gonna go down. Let's put one of these so we don't make a mess. All right. After you fill the, the reservoir up, apply the brake a couple of times. And depending how much fluid you let go, um, is is gonna be dependent on how many times you actually had to do this. Um, so yeah, before we even before we even get to the calipers, we need to put some fluid in the system. So. By pumping the brake, you can take that fluid from the reservoir all the way in the lines. And as you pump the brake, your level is gonna go down. Keep doing this until you don't, you don't, you see that your level doesn't go down anymore. After you pump it a few times, start the engine to help you create pressure. You can also pump the gas a couple of times. Once you have done this. You can move to the calipers, but before you do that, let me show you a little trick. If you're doing this by yourself like I'm doing it, you can try doing this. Just grab something long, I got this piece of wood, put it on the brake, and then just wedge it with your front seat. I use this foam just to protect the seat. By doing this, I save myself from having to buy any special tools. With the brake pressed, uh, open up the bleeder screw to let some fluid out like this and then after some comes out just close it go back and pump the brake again I like to uh, as I uh, go further and the, the pedal goes further you can use the seat to put some pressure on the brake just like this So repeat this process until the fluid shoots out due to the pressure that you're building in the system. Repeat this in all four corners or in the corners that you did work on. As, as you keep doing this, you may notice that the brake pedal gets harder and harder. And that's a good sign, it means that you're getting closer and closer to get the system bleeded. Now that we completed bleeding the system, we got pressure in all four corners. Let's put the cart together and let's go test the brakes to see if they work.
Well, the ABS doesn't allow it to make a cool video about locking your wheels, but the brakes are working great. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe so you can see more. What we're gonna be doing next, I actually have a surprise for you guys inside there. Also, we're gonna be working on the M3 body. So stick around for the next one. Thank you so much.